It is Tick Week here at New Center, Maine. All of this week, we will explore how scientists, doctors, and biologists are using new breakthroughs to protect us and our pets from ticks and the diseases they carry. Chief among them, Lyme disease. For more than a decade now, cases of Lyme in Maine have been rising nearly every year. So far this year, more than 500 cases have been reported, but since it takes months to confirm those cases, the actual number could be much higher. And looking at the bigger picture, more than half a million Americans are expected to get Lyme this year. And those numbers are only expected to grow as climate change allows ticks to expand farther north. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee joins us now to tell us about the potential for a vaccine. And Viv, it seems Mainers are going to be playing an important role in that. Yes, they are, Pat. Good evening. And yes, it's happening all right now. It's pretty exciting. Clinical trials are expected to begin soon at Northern Light Health System in Brewer. Now those trials will include enrolling 100 Mainers, five and older, sometime later this month. Do you have a moment for a quick blood draw? Dr. Rebecca Morrill is a naturopathic doctor at Integrative Health Center of Maine. She diagnoses and treats patients for Lyme and other tick-borne infections. With tick season in full swing, more patients want better protection from Lyme, like a vaccine. People who get tick bites once a week for the summer and they're saying, you know, what, what else is there? It's been more than two decades since a Lyme vaccine for humans hit the market. The shot called Lyme Ricks was pulled in 2002 by the manufacturer due to a lack of sales amid concerns about potential side effects. Now, Pfizer, the pharmaceutical giant behind the COVID-19 vaccine, wants to roll out another mass market shot to target Lyme. And Maine patients will be helping make a difference. Phase three clinical trials are set to get underway this month at Northern Light Health System. 100 patients will take two shots two months apart. In March, patients will need to take a booster shot before next summer's tick season. Both Northern Light and Pfizer have declined to do interviews or release more details. But according to a recent release, Pfizer will invest more than $90 million in a deal struck with French specialty vaccine maker Valneva. That's very encouraging, I would say. I'm really excited about this as an option. The development of a vaccine comes at a time when diagnosing the disease remains challenging. Dr. Morrill says there isn't a reliable test for detecting the disease early on when treatment with antibiotics is most effective. I think it's really exciting that, you know, something new is coming down the pipes. I think we need it. While Pfizer's vaccine is the only candidate currently in clinical trials, researchers at Virginia Commonwealth University are also working on a Lyme vaccine using the same technology from a vaccine used in dogs. Dr. Richard Marconi is a PhD professor in VCU's Department of Microbiology and Immunology. He is also the co-developer of the Vanguard CR Lyme, one of the most successful canine vaccines on the market. We want to tailor it for humans. VCU's human vaccine contains two components, also in the canine vaccine. One triggers your immune system to make antibodies that kill the bacteria and the tick. The other, any other pathogens that may make it into the body. One of the key challenges is blocking different strains of Lyme. How do we make it so that it will protect against all the different variants that are existing now or potentially will arise in the future? Researchers are also working on a more sensitive test for Lyme that could be used in doctors' offices. As for VCU's vaccine, animal testing is underway as Marconi's team looks for corporate and private partners to take the shot to market in the next several years. Well, now, so far, the clinical trials have shown that Pfizer's candidate has had very limited side effects, so that's good news. And coming up tomorrow, we'll tell you about a preventative shot, not a vaccine. It's really more similar to a flu shot that could be available at your local drugstore in about three years. Reporting live from Lisbon Falls, I'm Newsom Remains, Vivian Lee. Back to you.